Hi, I'm Heidi Rue with PartiesForPennies.com, a blog that gives you budget-friendly party ideas and inspiration. And I'm here for Sizzix. Did you know that you can throw entire parties just using Sizzix products? Well, I'm going to show you today how to throw your own beach theme party using your Sizzix products, specifically the Beach Line by Sharon Sowell. We're going to start off with a really fun project, and these are pinwheels, so you can use them for a lot of different things. But here Here's the pinwheel that I made for my party and I used them in center pieces. There's a lot of different ways that you can use them and I'll share that at the end. And don't forget to tune in because we've got a whole video series showing you at least four different projects where you can create your own beach theme party. So let's get started on the pinwheels. Here are the materials that you'll need. You'll need your Sizzix Big Kick. You'll need two plastic plates. the pinwheel die from Sharon Sowell's collection, scrapbook paper. Now I'm just gonna do a plain blue pinwheel, but you can also do one where there's two sides to the pinwheel, which just adds something kind of unique and different. Now, I couldn't find double-sided scrapbook paper at the craft store, so what I did is I created my own. So I basically put the pattern paper and then the solid paper together just using a glue gun. So that's always an option that you can do. Then you'll need some craft sticks. You can also use paper straws too. Those work great. Some fasteners. Now, you can get these at a lot of craft stores, but I found that it's actually, you get a better selection if you shop at an office supply store. So you can definitely find them there. And then lastly, you'll need a glue gun. So first of all, you're gonna start with your scrapbook paper. Now, I just got a regular scrapbook paper and I'm just gonna fold it in half and that will help kind of feed it through the machine. Then you're gonna take your die and put the scrapbook paper over your die and sandwich it in between the two plastic plates. Now it's ready to be fed through your Sizzix machine. Okay, now when you run it through there, you've got two kind of, I guess I'm gonna call them arms of your pinwheel like this, and they should have little holes in them too, and I'll show you how to use those in just a second. Now, you'll also have actually these cute little like star pieces, and there's like a little flower and a circle, and you can use those to kind of decorate your pinwheel once it's done, but I'm just gonna go plain and simple for mine, um, but that is that option. And then we'll just use the other piece of scrapbook paper and do the exact same thing. Put it in between your sandwich, or your plastic plates, and run it through your Sizzix machine. gives you a good little arm workout too. Okay, now we've got our four arms. So we'll need four arms for each pinwheel. I'm gonna set that aside. So what you'll need to do is you almost make like an X with your pinwheel arms. I'm gonna show you here. So like the little nose of your pinwheel needs to face the back of another pinwheel if that makes sense. So we'll put all of our four arms kind of together like this in an X with the holes overlapping in the center. Now that we've got that mainly done, now we're gonna use our little fastener. So we're gonna put the fastener in the middle where all those holes were and just stick it like that and then leave the back open. So now what we'll do is we'll take all these little noses and stick them in the back. Like that. It's actually pretty fun once you get the hang of it. So it'll look kind of, it won't look kind of, it'll look like this hopefully if you did it right. So now we just need to secure it in the back. So we'll just take our fastener and fold it over to secure. Okay, now we need to 
Um, well, first of all, before I start off with that, if you want to kind of add some embellishments to these, you can add like, um, now this isn't going to look that cool because it's the same, same color, but you can add like a little um, star to the front. You can add a circle, you can add a flower, whatever you want to do. It's going to be really fun to kind of jazz it up if you want to. So now we just need to turn it over and I'm going to attach my craft stick or straw using a glue gun. So I'm just going to add some glue to the back of the pinwheel, a generous amount of glue, and add my craft stick and just hold it there for a little bit until it dries and you've got your beautiful pinwheel. Now you can use your pinwheels actually in any party, but if you're having a beach theme party, you can use them in flowers like I did, or you can use them alone as a great centerpiece. They also make great party favors and cake toppers. It'd be a really unique cake topper. So stick around, we've got more party ideas of how you can throw a beach theme party using Sizzix products. We've got three more video series for you to watch. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sizzix YouTube channel, and if you want any of the products that we talked about in the video, you can find the links below. And don't forget to check out PartiesForPennies.com.